Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at two figures that are actually coming out, I think for this year, for the Transformers Studio Series and the Studio Series 86. So the two figures that I'm actually going to take a look at is the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Dark of the Moon Laser Beak, the pink Bumblebee version, which is this right here, and the Studio Series 86 Core Class Ratchet. Before we continue on, if you guys already seen the last video I did it for the, I uh, think I did a review for Studio Series, or it was a preview of it. I think it was a preview, I may not sure, it's been a long time doing some Studio Series figures, which I do apologize, I'm not making doing one, because trying to get to some Studio Series, studio series figures that I need is getting hard. I'm a broke ass motherfucker, so yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, I think it was shown yesterday on the 4th of July. So, I may not sure, or I think it was shown a couple, couple, two days ago, but I think it was 4th of July. I might have to check. So, I want to start off with Laserbeak. Now, this version of Laserbeak right here is representing the uh, <coughs> pink bumblebee. And if you guys already know the, um, the scene of it, which infiltrated someone's house, Long no, story short, the killed person. So yeah. So here's what is the packaging. What it looks like for Laser Beak, which this one is gonna is a cute looking bumblebee, which I think a lot of people are gonna try to get it, but most of it they're not gonna get it. So here's the packaging, by the way. Here's the front of it. Here's the back of it. And here's the robot mode. To be honest with you, is kind of looks okay now the only accessory it comes with of course is this is the blaster of course because this is bumblebee duh the laser laser beak looks okay just the robot mode is kind of a bit weak on this because well the way of the design of it and that's kind of my own opinion but the vehicle mode looks so perfectly good no robot cables in the way it's, it's, it's all perfect robot mode is kind of the sad let down and yeah that pretty much of it to say it's kind of sad so there's actually not much for laser beak now for ratchet finally got a ratchet figure for the studio series line so here it is ratchet right here Autobot ratchet and he actually looks pretty good. Now the accessory he comes with is two of his Kimball pistol and the background of it representing when he got murdered. Okay, well, this is kind of sad. And here's the back of the packaging right here. Now Ratchet Rover Mode is actually not that bad. There's no kibble interference of the any articulation. Head scope looks okay. I wish the figure had to give some more paint to it. And, well, you can see there's like cable right here to the vehicle mode, which kind of sucks. Eh, it is what it is. But the vehicle mode, on the other hand, looks okay. Just minus the, um, this kind of sticks out, and, yeah. Sheesh. It's, it's not that. <laughs> it's kind of a bit giant ice of it. And, of course, the weapon storage, you, you can put it to the side of the, on the vehicle mode. Looking pretty good, and of course, they're presenting like uh, ambulance right here. So, yeah, so there's not much of it to say about these two figures that that looks okay. I'm um, then I'm gonna try to get them first, anyways. You guys, I'm gonna end this right here. So, have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out. Hello. I cried, old bastard. Goodbye.